Oh, hello there, and welcome to today's episode of Casual Couch Gaming with your host, Magnus Tsunami. So welcome to our first ever episode of Diddy Kong Racing. Who are we going to select today? So many character options to go with this fuzzy squirrel or this alligator. Do we play as Diddy Kong? We're we going to play as a chook. Okay, well, I'm not going to be chicken, but let's go head first into racing, shall we? How many chicken puns can we throw in here? Well, what came first, the chicken or the egg? No. Okay, 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 I'll stop, I'll stop, I promise. <laughs> uh, we're met with a gorgeous cinematic of a pig's head. Or is that a boar? I really don't know. That's a really gorgeous island with rainbows and waterfalls. Where are we? And an elephant genie? Nice. Is he a friend or a foe? Whoa. Seems uh, he's taking a ride with our character. Okay. Ah, okay. He's the genie of the island. He's here to help. Okay. Okay. He said that he's here to help and then t wishes us good luck. Like, how is he there to help us? How does he help us exactly? What does he just give us magical powers? Does he grant us wishes? What does he do exactly? But I've played Diddy Kong Racing before, but I honestly have no idea what um, the genie does. So we're going straight into Dino Domain, and the first race is Ancient Lake. Now, I am a little bit rusty because I haven't played Diddy Kong Racing in such a long time. But it is a very enjoyable game, especially multiplayer. So this was like Mario Kart, but not quite, whereas you have to click those uh, balloons instead of power-ups. And certain balloons have certain power-ups. As our racer has already dropped down to 8th position. And, and you have to click bananas. And I'm guessing the bananas work a lot like um, the coins do in Mario Kart. They actually help you to speed up. The shunting Diddy Kong there is in 3rd position. <laughs> I like the little horn. That's kind of cute. I wonder what the blue one does. So the red ones are missiles so far. I don't know what the blue balloon bubbles do. Nice boost there. We're almost in first. We're battling. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nab's first position. I don't know what this character's name is, but honestly, I'm just going to call him um, Crazy the Chook. Because you know what? Why not? As <laughs> he, he's honking his horn. He's horny. I don't know if he's horny, but <laughs> look, I'm just ha having fun, okay? And he's secured first position, and this Chook is on a rampage. He's not letting anyone bully him on the track, as he nicely avoids that dinosaur. And he's secured first position beautifully. Well, that was an interesting race. Not very hard at all. As the genie comes in from... I don't know where he came in from. Okay. What's he doing? Ah, he gives us a balloon. I'm guessing the aim of this game is to unlock more balloons. I'm guessing the more balloons that you unlock, the more you can do. So we got two balloons now. Which one we're going? We're going to Fossil Canyon. Hmm. Nice. So another race. No, non-stop racing today. And we get to start off in first position from last race. No boost this time though. And all the other races have caught up quite quickly. One of them already boosting off into the distance. <laughs> uh, what was that, oil? Hmm. We well, want to avoid that one at all costs. Ooh. Almost heading into the water as we take that corner. Very tight corner, might I add. Yeah, we picked up some oil and we've skidded out on the edge. We've got to watch out for that. Like I said, I'm not very familiar with these tracks. Well, we're down to fifth position. Now sixth. Oh. Almost dead last. We're in seventh position. I've got to be careful. Ah, and grabbing the same type color balloon upgrades your weapon. Wonder what that spiky ball does. 
We're in fifth position. I wonder if Crazy Chuck here is going to be able to catch up. Whoa. Goes jumping over the track, losing speed there. Is he going to be able to catch up here? I don't know. He discards the spike ball. Whoa. Hitting that tree. That's going to cost him time. Crazy Chuck is all over the road. Still in fifth position. I think maybe he should be breaking around those corners. Maybe that boost might help, but we don't know just yet. Come on, Crazy Chuck, you can do it. Whoa. <laughs> Seems like one of the other players got trapped in the bubble. We're on, tra oh, we're on lap three out of final lap now. Let's see if our Crazy Chuck can catch up here. He's in second position. All he needs to do now is get into first position and stay there. Whoa. Hits a wall and... I don't know what that player, I think that's a bear. Whoa. Going off track, which cost him a lot of time. I wonder if he's going to be able to catch up here to first position. And this is close. Nice. Okay. Is it going to be enough, though? Close one. Whoa. We got stuck on something. Hitting in the wall, and it wasn't quite enough to get. And we missed with that missile. So we got second position. And for some reason, this game just doesn't like it if you get into second position. It actually makes you do the race again. So, to win in Diddy Kong Racing, you have to make sure that you secure first position. There's no point in playing if you're going to end up in second position. So, we start the race again. Although, this time, Crazy Chook has managed to get into first position. Nicely done there. Try to avoid falling off the track this time. Looks like I spoke too soon as he heads into second position. But can he hold it here? I would suggest that maybe we should um, take it easy around these corners. Shoot, shoot. Now would have been a perfect time to shoot them. I don't know why he's holding on to the power up. Maybe he is waiting. Ooh, homing missile. We run into the tree. He's got a homing missile in his inventory. Lining it up, shoots the first position player nicely. Mm, our crazy Chuck has some crazy ideas about what to do on track, doesn't he? Well, he seems to have a plan regardless. Uh, crazy Chuck knows what he's doing. Missing that balloon, though. Always going off track. He needs to stay on track. He's all over the place. He's crazy driving and he's crazy antics. Well, he's earned the nickname, in my eyes, Crazy Chuck hitting that. Uh, palm tree. They make such weird sound effects like boing, 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 boing. <laughs> final lap and we're still in first position by miles. I don't know what you're doing avoiding that bubble nicely but going all over the place. Man it's crazy Chuck and his crazy driving style. But he needs to stay on course as this is final lap. One wrong move here could cost him his position. You better stay on track there crazy Chuck otherwise one mistake could cost you. Setting up an oil trap for the players behind him. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Ooh, and the blue one was a boost. Okay, so the red balloons are missiles, the blue balloons are boosts, and the green ones are oil and spike and bubble hazards. Okay, we're met with the genie. Yeah, we can skip that. I didn't realize we could skip that. Hmm. Okay, where do we go now? Jungle Falls. Okay. Next race, Jungle Falls. Let's see how we go here. Mm, no boost? Bugger. That's no good. Heading straight into that palm tree, which takes us down to 8th position. Oh, this is not a good start for us here. There's some weird pink balloons, though. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? They said watch out. I didn't realize I could speak English. I thought that generally games like this just made them say, um, you know, generic nonsense. But who knew? Let's we'll see how our chook goes. Oh, getting shot. Getting shot. Putting us into third position. Oh, watch out for the water. That's going to slow us down big time. Back down to seventh. Grabbing that balloon. That blue balloon is going to help. Oh, almost. Nope. We got stuck behind a wall. I think it would be more worth maybe restarting the, the race. I don't know if we're going to have the chance to regain. Yeah. Best we restart.
I decided to restart the race here due to there's no point in trying to continue. If you get stuck like that, you're best off just restarting the race. So I didn't cut that out this time. I decided to show you guys that even me, Magnus Nami, he's not the best player in the world, but I do try to have fun and try my best. Sometimes needs to restart the game to be able to progress. Ooh, nice. So we get 10 missiles. <laughs> the crazy Chook has gone nuts. He's firing his missiles at everyone. <laughs> Oh dear, unleashing a barrage and a nice shot from a distance there too. Oh, I guess he was taking out his frustrations from last time, but again, getting stuck into the water. That's twice now that I fell in for the same trick. But hopefully this time we don't fall off the bridge. Nice, there we go, that's how you do it. Shooting that missile into the wall, hopefully we can overtake this first player. Oh, there's a boost there. I didn't see that. Almost last lap. Now it's the final lap. Watch out for that water. There we go. That's how you do it. Place down that. There we go. Now we're cooking with oil. Said nobody ever. Getting a protection. This should help us in case anybody tries to fire upon us. I don't know why he hasn't activated it though. You might want... Oh, we missed the boost. How the heck did we miss that? Oh, going off course. But... Nabbing first position. Nicely done, Crazy Chook. That's how you do it. And, yeah, so that's, um, we've got four balloons. That's all I have the time for there today, ladies and gentlemen. And until next week, I hope you enjoyed. Magnus. Tsunami. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.